Hi, I'm Fernanda Matsumoto and I'm from Brazil. When I was six years old, my parents made a life change decision to put me in Girl Scout. When I first entered Girl Scout, I discovered a whole new world, the real world, the real Brazil, the Brazil of inequalities. Moreover, I gained experiences, I gained dependence, I learned how to cook, even though I'm a terrible cooker right now. I, but the most important lesson that I took from Girl Scout was leadership skills. I was elected to be the leader or monitor of my a group in Girl Scout. I learned how to have empathy, I learned how to listen to others. And most important, I learned that if my team fails, I fail too. If they win, I win. With Girl Scout, I started to get more involved in volunteering. I started to volunteer in my school, outside of my school, with my friends, with my parents. And with these experiences, more having my mother as my role model, as a person that inspires me by her brave, her braveness, her strength, and she just didn't give up, and she got, uh, was able to get out of her comfort zone. With these experiences and my role model, I just wanted to volunteer more. I wanted to be part and act more. And my mother always told me about gender inequality in Brazil. And when I discovered that gender inequality was actually a really huge issue in Brazil and the world, and that climate change is real and we're not doing enough to fight against it, I wanted to act in, for these issues. So I first talked to all of my teachers and I made to all of my teachers in middle school saying to them to raise up about these issues, to speak up about these issues. And even though they talked about these issues, I just thought that it wasn't enough. I need to do more. I need to act. So I created Girl Up Club. And with Girl Up Club, I gained also a Girl Up community. I was able to meet incredible, inspiring girls from Brazil and from around the world. I was able to attend uh, leadership Summit, Girl Up Leadership Summit in 2020, in 2021 and I was able to organize a lecture to, for my whole middle school to talk about climate education. I was able to organize events and discussions about women empowerment and how beauty patterns affect women negatively and in 2021 I started to search more about menstrual poverty and when I discovered that girls from my age cannot go to school because they don't have menstrual project products, I miss over two months of school. I just wanted to act. I just wanted to help them. I just wanted to put girls in school. So I decided to organize a campaign donation of pets, and we donated more than ten thousand pets to women and girls in vulnerability in the streets. And girl ups clubs around the around Brazil we started to put pressure in government and prefectures to guarantee that women and girls have access to free menstrual products. And now today I can successfully say that most of the most of the states now have laws and campaigns that guarantee this right. When you first start high school, I remember stepping in the class and just noticing that most of my STEM teachers were men. And I just started to question why is this is happening? What's the problem? It must be an issue. And then I just discovered the huge gender gap in STEM. So as STEM is in a field that I just love, I just wanted to be inclusive and accessible to everyone. So I decided to create STEM Fixie. And we were responsible to give girls in STEM a platform to speak their and to raise their voices. With STEM Fixi, I met incredible girls in STEM who are fighting gender inequality in their Ivy League. Who I met young women entrepreneurs who are using technology to combat gender violence in public transportation, and many other amazing girls. Um, even though. I learned so much about leadership during all my process. I also needed to overcome some challenges as I needed to overcome 
this imposter syndrome of just thinking that I'm not good enough, I'm not capable of being a leader. I also need to confront people who just believe that gender inequality wasn't an issue and who just didn't support uh, my fights and my club and my actions. And I learned that being a leader is totally different from the myths. So leaders have emotions too. We are humans. We have emotions, we make mistakes, and we are definitely not perfect. And we are not born as a leader. We learn how to be a leader with our actions and with a process. So at first I like a lot about a girl up is this phrase that learn about the issue, trying to be a leader and lead to change. And this is just a cycle. So we learn, try and lead. And being a leader is being a lifelong learner. Um, probably most of you right now are here to receive a recipe and want a recipe about how to be a leader, uh, want a formula about how to be a leader, but unfortunately I don't have this because there's no recipe, there's no formula about how to be a leader. Although I can give some tips. So first of all, be truly truthful to yourself. Be yourself. Uh, know what you're fighting for. So know what what issue you're fighting for and know how to talk about this issue to other people. Get involved in a community. So build a support system and just be comfortable in this community. A phrase that I like a lot is act locally to impact globally. So even though you just change a person's life, this is a huge thing. So be proud of yourself because one person's life can impact globally. So if you need to hear this, you are a thousand percent capable of doing it. You are a thousand percent capable of being a leader. And I believe on you and you should believe on yourself. As with all this said, there's no better time to act than now. And people usually say that the youth are going to be the, the future, the future of this planet. But in fact, we are already the present because we are never too young to make the difference. Thank you.